Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to take this HTC HD2 T-Mobile running Windows uh, Windows Mobile and uh, turn it into an Android 4.1 device. Uh, the really only thing that this assumes is that you have flashed a custom Windows Mobile ROM before and thus have your device uh, uh, your device's RUU unlocked so that you can install uh, other ROMs and stuff. So if you're running, you know, Energy Mod or anything other than a default HTC ROM, you should be good. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to have on your computer is Microsoft ActiveSync, which if you don't have that on here, what are you doing with the Windows Mobile device? And if you don't know what it is, then you probably don't know enough to follow this tutorial anyway, so I'm not even going to bother explaining what ActiveSync is. But you need to make sure that's on there, and you need to make sure that your HD2 is connected to it. Then you need to go to the first link in the video description and get Magloader 1.13. That's going to download it as a RAR file, so you're going to go and you're going to extract that. And if you don't know how to extract a RAR, again, you should not be following this tutorial. This is some pretty, ad well, advanced, I guess, stuff. And if you can't even extract a RAR file, you have no business messing around with your phone like this. Anyway, so you'll extract Magloader and you'll get basically what looks like a regular Windows Mobile ROM here. Uh, here's the phone. It is booted into... There it is. It is booted into Windows and all is well. Uh, so I'm just going to start the ROM update utility here. I understand. Ne Oops. Where did it go? Next. I completed the steps. Yes. Just me. Yeah. Establish an active sync connection. Yes. All that is done. Verifying information. Okay. I'm going to move my phone here into the frame. Click update. Next. Next. And then it'll say updating the ROM image. The phone will reboot into the tricolor screen after which a progress bar will appear and it will basically be a mirror, be a mirror image between the computer and the phone this is a pretty quick process uh, magloader is a very small uh, thing it does take a little while to establish the connection though I'm not entirely sure why but I think it's got something to do with my rubbish computer actually it's a d600 it kicks butt but you know there we go so there's a progress bar popped up and it's done already, 100%. Now the phone is going to reboot. And, oh man, holding my hand out here is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. All right, the phone is gonna reboot. You can click finish on the wizard. You can close out a mag loader there. And there you can see mag loader powered by Kadula. Uh, it'll say SD kernel open failed, and it'll go to this boot menu. Uh, this is uh, the other way to access this, once we've gotten a little bit further along here, push and hold the power button while booting up, and it'll go into this magloader menu. Uh, at this point, at this point, we need to download the next thing, which is the second link. Let me scroll up to the top of the screen here. The Clockwork Mod Recovery for HD2. You're going to scroll down until you see Downloads, and you're going to click on the Download version 1.3250 megabyte. There's a new link. This is it. It's on Mediafire. Download this instead. It's a 3.3 megabyte download. It's not going to hurt you too much. So, when that is done downloading, unzip the recovery version 1.3 250 meg uh, uh, zip file here and go in there and there's this DAF let's see if I can remember how to do this alright so on the phone uh, you're in your menu here you're gonna use the volume down key to go down to USB flasher and then you're gonna push the green button and it's gonna say USB flasher mode wait USB that's all you need to do on here you can set this down so I'm gonna do so and then you're gonna click on the DAF executable and if you're in Windows Vista or Windows 7 you're gonna have to right click and run as administrator uh, and this is gonna come up DFT Dark Forces Team Android warning read this text carefully be before you continue yep we totally read that okay next next connect the phone in USB flashing mode waiting for USB connection I'll just hold the phone up here because I'm pretty sure it's gonna start doing something soon there we go oh this is uncomfortable wait USB waiting you have wait 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 and wait and wait and there we go. So now it's doing stuff. Installation in progress. You can see here it's erasing some things, and there's going to be a progress bar, and then it is done. Alrighty. So now it's going to reboot. 
again you can click finish on the phone on the uh, computer and you can close that window because we don't need it anymore the phone is going to reboot and again it's going to see nan kernel fail and it's going to go to this at this point what you want to do is you want to go down 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 to ad recovery it's the number eight option and push the green button try to push it a little bit harder than i did so that it actually does something one two three four five six go 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 and there we go we have clockwork mod recovery now you want to go to mounts and storage mount usb storage make sure that you have an sd card in the phone one moment Okay, anyway, once you have a working SD card, you're going to you're going to use the volume buttons again to go down to advanced. All right, you're going to go to mounts and storage rather. Green key, mount USB storage, green key. Set down the phone again. Now, this window is going to pop up. You have just mounted the phone's SD card as a removable drive. Congratulations. Minimize that window and go to the third link. This is a link to a Jelly Bean ROM. I've actually never tried this one out before. This is going to be my first time, but it looks pretty good. It's based on Cyanogen Mod 10. It is jelly time. You're going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Download. You're going to click that, and you are not going to unzip this file. You're going to go to your downloads where it is, and where it is, jelly time underscore HD2 version 3.0. You're going to open up your removal drive, and you're just going to stick that, that zip file right on your drive, right in the root. Just like that. Ah, oh, yes, right in the root. Just a tip, just to see what it feels like. So there we go, 35 seconds remaining, and it is copying. Oh, thank God it's done. I was getting really tired of doing that. 10 seconds left. All right, let's go. All right, there we go. Okay, it's copied. So you can get back to your phone, push the green button to unmount. Wait for it to go back to the main screen. Come on. This is very tough to do with one hand. And I froze the phone. Oh, nope, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, gonna go back to the uh, main system. You can unplug your phone at this point, it doesn't really make a difference. Gonna go to install zip from SD card, green button, choose zip, green button, only zip on there, jelly time. Click the green button again. Go down to yes. Click the green button, and there we go. It is installing. And since this uses the Aroma installer, it has this nice graphical user interface, just click Next. There we go. Uh, again, click NAND, and then Next. Ah, I cannot do this with one hand. Okay, there we go. There we go. And Next. Uh, I like to disable the soft keys, and then Next. And then click Next. And it will install. This takes bloody ages, so I'm going to stop filming and drop the phone. When it's done, you click Next again, and then you click Finish. Now it's going to reboot, and it is going to boot into Glorious Android. Even though I don't really like Android that much, it'll still be glorious. Now the first boot is going to take a really, really long time. Hello. So, um, I'm going to stop recording again. That is a very nice boot screen. I like that. It is, it's pretty. And it flashes. That's rather cool. So you can see the ROM has installed. Just click start. And this is just the, uh, whoops. This is just the standard, this is now Google Android 4.1. Come on, there we go, your phone is complete, ready. And here you go, Android 4.1 on the HTC HD2, it runs quite well actually, uh, as you can see, speed, whoops. Hmm. Well, there we go. Speed, uh, once you get things kind of settled in, is quite good. It's rather quick, snappy. Sort your apps. Yes, I get it. Uh, as far as I know, the camera does work, as does Google Now. If I lock it, and then unlock it, and 
go back to the home screen, and there we go. We've got everything. Uh, Google Now isn't installed by default, but you can go to the Android Market and get it. I believe the camera should work fine. Yeah, there it is. In all of its glory, as well as a video camera. Yep, there we go. Woohoo! Go back to the home screen, and uh, there you go. That is Android 4.1. How to install it on the HTC Touch HD2. Leave your comments, subscribe, like, favorite, do whatever, share this video, get the word out. Jake does reviews. If you have anything you want me to review, or anything you want to send me to review for that matter, uh, contact me at tandyman100 at retro-box.net. Uh, links on my site, description, pretty much everywhere. Uh, got any suggestions for software reviews you want me to do? Send me a message or do a link in the, uh, or uh, leave a comment or something.